Hey guys, it's Jacqueline Hill Bennett. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of my show. Uh, in this segment, I want to show you guys how I remove my glued on lace front unit and reapply it all in one video. Um, I actually might choose to make this a two-part video just so that I don't keep it too long but uh, if you guys have been watching my channel then you know that I have been sleeping in my wigs um, the reason why I have been sleeping in my wigs is because uh, for two reasons one I noticed that by constantly removing my glued on lace front I was degrading my unit and also um, it is very difficult to achieve this amazing hairline that you're seeing um, on a daily basis so it's much actually easier to just sleep in the once you have it glued down to sleep in it. thanks for joining me today in my lab I'm back in the lab it's been a minute um, the reason I'm here today is because I'm going to show you guys how I should have at least taken off my jacket right like oh my god if you've been watching my channel, then you know that I've been wearing my wigs glued on with Ultra Holds Walker Tape, right? This stuff is really good. It could hold your wig down to your head um, without lifting for probably two full weeks, okay? I don't keep my wigs on for two weeks long because I'm very particular about the edges of my wig, this area right here. I love that I get this look, you know, of baby hair without actually making baby hair. However, after a time, the glue starts to get um, build up. It starts to do like this residue thing and I guess it starts collecting dirt and then you end up with this hard edge. I don't know if you can see it. I hope hopefully it's picking it up so it's here on this side but it's not here on this side um either way i'm going to take it off tonight i want to show you guys how i remove my wig with the glue okay so the reason i do it this way i could literally just take my finger and stick it under and pull it off nice and gently and it would come off but there would be a whole lot of glue and residue left behind on the unit and it's really kind of a pain in the neck trying to get that stuff off so it's better if you just follow some sort of structure which is what i'm going to show you okay so i'm using my bma or bmb bmb super citrus glue remover bmb super citrus glue remover i'm using that and I'm also using some 91% alcohol that I put inside of a Bobo's bottle because I like this bottle. You get a nice spray. Um, but this is alcohol. This is not the Bobo's, okay? Anyway, all right, so I'm going to start by just spraying. And you got to be very careful because this stuff um, is, even though it's gentle on the skin, it the scent is very potent. And it will once it gets up your nostril, you'll start sneezing, right? And also, you don't want it to get in your eyes because um, that's very uncomfortable as well. So I hold my hand here and I spray one, two, and maybe three, three times. And then I rub that in. And hopefully rubbing it in will keep the product from dripping down into my eyes. Then I'm going to do that all around. <sighs> Alright, so I'm waiting a couple minutes for that to start working. And then I'm going to slowly start kind of just pushing it off. This stuff works really fast. Ugh, you don't want it to get in your eye like what just happened to me. Anyway, this stuff works really fast. You can start doing this. Okay, so what's going to happen when you start rubbing this off is your glue is going to start getting wet, loosening up, and it's going to become very sticky and tacky and messy. To combat that, I use the alcohol and I spray the same way. Hopefully I don't get that in my eye. you got to really, really be quick about this too because you just don't want this in your face too long anyway so okay so we've got that all sprayed up and look it's beginning to lift all right 
Now I have also, I should have told you to have some really good paper towels. I like to use Bounty because it's very strong and absorbent. And this is the stuff that gets really messy. You see that? That stuff is messy. Okay, so then I just start pushing this backwards. And as you can see, all that glue is coming off into my hair. Yes, into my hair. I'm going to have to wash my hair when I'm done. Um, guys, you know, I'm going to insert a clip of when I actually washed my hair in the shower right before I, um, I just a few days ago. I think, think I did that like at the like Thursday of last week, I went to Maryland to see my niece graduate. I had to wash my hair. I didn't want to take it off. I didn't want to go through all this mess. So I just washed my hair in the shower. Check out that clip. Oh, I was so excited to do that. <laughs> just to be able to wash my hair in the shower for an alopecia girl like me, let me tell you. What a treat, what a treat. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this... <laughs> My eyes closed. This is why it's so hard to make these videos because it's a messy job. It gets in your eyes, but you know, for you guys, why not? Why don't I do it just for you guys? All right, and it is off. Oof. Look at that big clump there. So unattractive. So unattractive. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, so it is off, all right. Okay, so now I've taken off the unit, and as you can see, there's a bunch of residue still left behind, but I want to you to understand, I would definitely have left back a bunch more glue if I did not follow the method that I just showed you with the alcohol and the citrus glue remover directly on my scalp, okay? So I'm doing it some more obviously going in with the citrus and now this time I'm spraying a whole lot of the alcohol as you can see the glue comes out when you comb it like this it will also come more will also come out in the shampoo but I don't even like this stuff to get in my sink for fear that it may actually clog my drain all right I'll see you guys in a sec 